Good morning friends welcome to the point in this video we will discuss a problem related to the taxation that is known as cascading effect of taxes so let us now start with what cascading effect is all about so cascading effect of taxes means tax on tax and it happens in the situation where tax is levied on the final product without reducing the amount of tax paid in the previous transaction i will like to explain this through an example for an example uh, you have uh, a sugar factory wherein you procure sugar cane from the farmer at the rate 10 rupees per kg okay is per kg now you are procuring 5 kg of uh, <coughs> sugar cane so the cost to you would be 50 rupees because 10 rupees per kg into 5 kg is 50 rupees now you process this sugar cane and convert into sugar and sell it to the wholesaler now when you sell it to the wholesaler you would definitely add some margin to it let's suppose 10 rupees so now the cost will become 60 and then there would be some taxation rate on it uh, which we assume at the rate 10% so the cost to the wholesaler would be 66 rupees as in 10% of 60 rupees 6 so 60 plus 6 rupees is 66 so the your selling price is 66 and that would be the cost to wholesaler <coughs> so that is 66 rupees now when this wholesaler will sell it to the retailer this person will again <coughs> levy a tax of 10% which will make its cost as 72.6 rupees because 10% of 66 is rupees 6.26 so <coughs> 72.6 would be the cost so if you see now this 10% tax that is levied on 66 rupees includes 6 rupees that was included as a tax over here as well so this is the case of tax on tax wherein you are levying a tax on the previously added taxation amount so this is cascading effect of taxation where you put tax on the previously charged tax also because here how did this 66 figure came it is 10% of 60 that is 6 rupees now 60 plus 6 comes 66 now again when this wholesaler is selling it to the retailer they are charging 10% tax now and this 10% tax which ideally should be on rupees 60 only is levied on rupees 66 so it is a tax on tax so that is called cascading effect it is basically a compounding effect that takes place when a product is passed from multiple stages of production so what is happening here it is compounding now when this retailer will sell it to uh, the consumer or the end consumer in the market again a tax of 10% would be levied on this so this is what is what is happening here it is compounding effect tax on tax now again here tax and again tax on this amount which already includes tax that is paid twice so that so a compounding effect takes place due to the above effect the price of the product drastically increases as the amount of tax collected is much higher than the real rate of taxation applicable on the product so if you see uh, that the taxation rate applicable on the product is just 10% whereas you are paying 10% three times at three different cost so that increases the cost of the product we example that would i think uh, help you bring more clarity so this was a old system where sales tax <coughs> was used and here the gsc system is there so the manufacturing cost of car is 250000 and uh, the dealer is adding its margin at the rate 50000 so the cost becomes 3 lakh <coughs> on this excise duty of 10% is added so 10% of 3 lakh is 30000 so the cost after tax is 3 lakh 30000 now when selling it to the consumer value added tax at the rate 10% of this is also added so 10% of 3 lakh 30000 is 33000 so the total cost to the consumer is 3 lakh 63000 so if you see over here now this 10% is not charged on this amount 
but this amount wherein a 10% excise duty is also included so it is a tax on tax so this is the cascading effect that is taking place this has been eliminated by the newly launched goods and service tax wherein there is no <coughs> cascading effect so if you see again 250 is the cost of manufacturing add 50000 that is the profit margin so the cost comes 3 lakh now as the gst has replaced all the existing taxation or most of it like excise duty sales tax vat and only single integrated tax is levied so no excise duty vat is also zero directly a 20 percent gst is charged at the stage where uh, the goods are sold to the consumer so 20 percent of 3 lakh is 60,000. so 3 lakh plus 60,000 is the cost to consumer so earlier where the consumer was paying 3 lakh 63,000. so there is now a tax saving how because there is no cascading effect that is taking place in the current scenario so this is uh, why that is why it is said that the gst system is free of cascading effect which was earlier prevalent in the vat system or sales tax system so friends this is all for the today's video just please revise these examples once again which will help you bring more clarity over it so stay fit stay at home whenever you go out please don't forget to wear your masks thank you so much my dear friends